This is the Sony 35mm f1.8 lens, and I honestly believe that every single photographer that owns a Sony camera should also own this lens. In this video I'll be going through why. It took me quite a long time to pull the trigger on this lens because it's usually priced around £599-£600 here in the UK, but I actually got this last year for £399 on Amazon during one of their Prime Day deals. And actually, it's £399 right now, only until I think it's July the 12th at midnight. So if this video goes up before then and you're interested in getting this lens, definitely check it out before the offer goes. So let's talk about this lens and why it should be in your kit bag. So the first thing that really appeals to me about this lens is the size and weight. I mean, this lens is tiny and it only weighs 280 grams. So you can easily slip this into your camera bag and depending on what pockets you have, you may even be able to get this into one of your pockets. I find this lens perfect for capturing those candid moments without carrying around a big heavy lens. Another great feature of this lens is the aperture, so we get an f1.8 aperture on this lens, which allows plenty of light to enter in challenging lighting situations. So you can use this lens to shoot in dimly lit environments without worrying too much about blurry or grainy images. And that f1.8 aperture does a great job of separating your subjects from the background. What's even better is that this lens has a minimum focus distance of 22 centimeters. That means that you can bring objects or people closer to the lens and get some really great background blur. The lens itself also feels great in the hand. It's made primarily of metal and some plastic, but it feels super durable and robust. And as a photographer, knowing that my gear isn't going to be, you know, falling apart at the seams is really a bonus. I don't want to be out shooting and worrying that I've got delicate equipment that's going to break if I accidentally bump it. Now, of course, I don't plan on bumping this lens or dropping it or anything like that, but I just feel more confident knowing that it's a well-made lens. It's also weather sealed to a certain degree, so you can shoot in the rain or at the beach without worrying about sand getting in the lens or anything like that. Now, what matters most about any lens is the image quality, and I can assure you that this lens captures incredibly sharp images. The 35mm focal length provides a natural perspective, giving your photos a sense of realism. The lens is great for capturing intricate details, vibrant colours and accurate contrast, resulting in what I think is incredibly good photos. So whether or not you're shooting landscapes, portraits, product photography, whatever it is you actually do take photos of, this lens is going to produce great results. And I just want to touch on that 35mm focal length again. So even though this is a prime lens and it's a fixed focal length, I do find that 35 is just a really great sweet spot. It's not too wide, but it's wide enough. And it's not too zoomed in, but you do get some sort of reach on it as well. Now, if you're looking to capture vast, wide landscapes, then this lens definitely isn't for you. But you can still capture a wide scene, but what you'll find is that you do get more subject emphasis, like if you have something in the foreground. I personally use this lens most for street photography, travel photography, some portraits as as well and also product photography. One thing that most people are concerned about when it comes to any lens is the autofocus performance and I can tell you that this has been fantastic in both photo and video mode on my Sony a7 IV. I've had no issues at all and interestingly so I'm shooting this video right now on the Samyang 24mm f1.8 and I have issues with this lens sort of going out of focus every now and then whereas when I put the 35mm on from Sony it is locked on. I have never had an issue with this lens hunting or anything like that so I do think that you know on a modern camera you're going to get some fantastic results whether or not you're shooting people animals whatever it is you want to use this for it's just been great for me in fast-paced situations and yeah I, I think it's a great lens and for those of you who like to manual focus you'll be happy to know that there is an af mf switch on the lens itself so you can switch between different modes and the manual focus ring is actually really nice on this lens so a lot of these modern electronic lenses use focus by wire which just feels weird because you can just focus continuously for like ever whereas on this lens it feels a lot more natural similar to those sort of dslr lenses you would have used in the past so for manual focus users this is great as well so for photography and potentially you know 35 millimeter video is going to be great on this lens. So as you can tell, I'm really happy with the Sony 35mm 1.8. Since the day that I got it up to now, I've had no issues with it at all. I've never noticed any problems with the image quality when I've been editing in Lightroom or anything like that. It's always super sharp. And in terms of the actual performance on the camera, it's been perfect. If you're interested in getting this lens, honestly, check it out right now while the Prime Day deals are on. 399 is a steal for this lens. And you know, this only happens every now and then. Usually this lens is about 520, 599, somewhere around that price point. So for 399, you're getting a bargain with this lens. I'll add all the links to this lens in the description below. And if you do get it through one of my links, I do earn a very small commission. 
But that commission helps me make more videos on this channel, so feel free to support my channel and get this lens at the same time. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, it really helps out my channel. If you have any comments or questions about the lens, pop them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you want to see more from me, hit that subscribe button and press the bell as well and you'll be notified when I upload another video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.